Hello everyone! Hello everyone! Today, I'm not the star of this video. Brian is. I was watching some videos and I thought that I don't have a husband tag. I mean, it's a classic. I have a husband, I have a YouTube channel, I didn't have a husband tag. Finally, right? I've been waiting for this video. Really? No. I wrote 25 questions for you, baby boy. A lot of questions. So should I keep my answers nice and short? I don't know, just, just be say what you have to say. If I feel like you're boring, I'll just cut you. It's a great plan. Question number one, when did we first meet? We actually met on July 5th, 2016. I know the exact date. I was coming to Italy for the first time that wasn't to study abroad. Sonia hit me up actually, and I was like, sure. We met up and one thing led to another. He made a video where he asked people from Rome to show him around. I'm from Rome, I wanted to show him around. So you asked, tell me the first impression you had of me. Honestly, <clears throat> smart. Really? I was like, this girl's smart. First impression? Yeah, I mean, first impression after like looks, like first conversation we had, I was like, I think she's smart. She seems like kind of mature. Thank you. That's nice. When you're used to those stupid girls, like, uh, uh, it's like. Were you used to those stupid girls? No, but you were still smart. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy with this answer. Which qualities in me attracted you the most? I thought this was going to be about me, not you. I don't know. I just Google husband tag. Um, it's still my channel. It probably sounds cliche, but beautiful, smart, down to earth. You think I'm down to earth? Yeah, for the most part. Okay. When did you know I was the one? I wouldn't say that I knew you were the one, but I knew that I wanted to put more effort into our relationship and make it work with you more than I would have with like any other girl because I knew you were like a great choice. Are you telling me that you married me without knowing that I was the one? Um, it's tough to define the <laughs> one, but... So you just think that I'm, like, I'm worth giving it? No, it's not that simple. Like, maybe with other girls, I would have just, like, given up and, like, moved on to a new relationship. But with you, I was like, let's see where this goes with this girl. Because she's not just any old girl. There's something special about her. But you don't appreciate it? I right? appreciate it. I'm just saying that you're saying that you don't know I am the one. It's the same as a soulmate. I don't really believe in that concept. Yeah, me neither. I don't believe in soulmates. Too. So! <laughs> yeah, but it's nice to know that you believe I'm your soulmate. But I don't believe in soulmates, I think. Okay, so it's the same. I think it's a lot of like timing. I don't know. There are a lot of potential partners. Moving on. Who was the first person you told about us? Probably my brother. Yeah, I knew you would say Chris. What did you tell him? Like, hey, I, I probably met a girl. sent him a picture of you and I was like, check this girl out. It's time to be honest. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Yeah, that's what they do. They send each other pictures. That's what I anyone know. does. I don't do it with the girls. You're a girl. That's what all boys do. You're like, I I met a new girl. Look, Chris approved. So I was like, okay. Chris is always sending Brian pictures and sometimes like when he wants to show me a picture on his phone he has to scroll down and I see a lot of pictures of random girls like Brian what why do you have all these pictures and I, he's like Chris like Chris you gotta stop it's he's all married good. it's all good he's married what did your friends say about me they said that they really liked you really is this the standard answer yeah but it's also a standard question they didn't say anything about me being Italian, like, hey, Brian, do you really want to do this? No, not really. Being with an Italian Maybe they were like, what's it like to be with an Italian? Did you get cold feet before the wedding? Um, not at all. Not at all. Honestly, I'm being honest. Cold feet in the sense, like, I was considering, like, oh, I'm not going to go through with this. Hell no. Like, ah. Uh... No, I was 100% committed to doing it. Cool. As you should be, I feel like, if you propose to someone. I didn't get cold feet either. But I guess like before the wedding, I felt a little bit overwhelmed with all the things that I had to do. I had a little bit of anxiety, but I think that's normal. What scares you the most about me? I just hope you keep loving me, so I don't want you to stop loving me. Is it only about me though, or would it be the same in any relationship? I'll never stop it's... loving you. You said it on camera and I'm not gonna cut this. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Because it's not specific about you, no. But okay. it's about me, I guess. Like, if I love a girl like this, I don't want her to ever stop loving me. So, something specific about you? I mean, you tend to worry a lot, so I hope, like, your worries don't drive you crazy and then you <laughs> make a crazy decision. Do you like my cooking? I mean, yeah. 
course I do. You have a particular cuisine. I think your list of priorities is like healthy and then good. A lot of people yeah. go good and then healthy, but let's be honest, like it's probably for the best. Like that's not to say your dishes aren't great either. They're always good. Yeah. And you're pretty creative in the kitchen, I would say. So I just see you're now right. for lunch, like a simple salad, but it was really good. Chickpea salad, definitely you're right. What do we argue about the most? It's hard to think about something we argue about, something specific that's just like this recurring problem. I guess one theme I've noticed when we get into arguments is like, maybe I do something that you don't like, and then you tell me you don't like it. And then I realize if you did the same thing, I wouldn't get mad. And the fact that you're getting mad at me for the same thing makes me mad. That's kind of like how the buildup goes, but there's nothing specific that's glaring like this issue that's like gonna keep coming up. Number 11, what's my best habit? Your best habit is your work ethic. Is that a habit? Well, you have a habit of working hard. It could ultimately hurt you, but you never stop going. Like, you don't relax. Mm -hmm. You don't relax. And I mean that it could be, it sounds like a bad thing, but it could also be a good thing is like, you'll make breakfast for us, and then you'll make lunch for us, and then you'll make dinner for us, and then you'll be working nonstop during the meantime. All that. I'm shooting this video in between lessons. Like, I'm having a break, but I'm like, let's make a video. Sonia, just stop and just relax. Because then she'll She's be like, I'm tired, out. and I'm like, are you? <laughs> Have you ever lied to me? Um, yeah, everyone's lied. Innocent lies. Like for example? Nothing goes to mind. Have you ever lied about where you were? Mm, no. I would hate for you to lie about where you are. If I'm like, hey, I'm going to Giovanni's, but I actually go to Laudas. Yes, I would hate it. Do you understand the reference? Just like you've probably lied to me about small stuff like small things. Did you have dessert? And I'm like, no. Why would you lie to me about that? Because I don't want you to judge me. Oh. If you could throw away one belonging of mine, what would it be? The answer that immediately comes to mind is Play-Doh. Because you throw away my Play-Doh. <laughs> because I end up finding dried out Play-Doh all the time. A lot of stuff. That's just the first answer that came to my mind, but I would actually throw away like 90% of the garbage that you have that you never use that just takes up space in this house. Like my university books. I guess, yeah, but there's even worse things like in our room, those decorations and stuff is just like something, this is all garbage. What if it's a memory from my trip to China or something? I can make an exception for that. Then we have to make I'm just saying what I would throw away. I'm not saying I'm going to where I want to, but I would. Okay. Who is an angrier person? I don't think either of us is much angrier than the other. You have your moments of anger and I have my moments of anger. He does. So do he you. Does. So do you. I think that I'm less angry in public. I think you're referring to one specific time. Just a couple in the last week. Oh, come on. Don't make me angry. Let's just say he experienced road rage. Well, let's just say an American driving in Rome, it was bound to happen sooner or later. Who is the funny one? It depends on the context. I thought you would say me, obviously, like you. No, I don't think I'm the funny one. I think oh. Sonia is definitely funny too. Just me and her together, she always makes me laugh. <laughs> really? Maybe with like male friends, I tend to make people laugh more. You make friends laugh. I make your dad laugh a lot. I think you do. He laughs at my jokes. I think he thinks you're funny. Which cuisine do I dislike the most? There's no specific cuisine that you truly dislike, but you don't eat meat, so anything with meat, but also like the strictly unhealthy junk food garbage you really don't. I don't think you dislike it, but you choose to never eat it. Like McDonald's, I think you like McDonald's, but you've never eaten McDonald's since we've been together. Well, I've been a pescatarian for almost 16 years and at McDonald's they only have filet of fish True. and like not the best. But you're not the pickiest eater. Yeah, I'm not really. There's no cuisine I hate. But you're right, like cuisines that have a lot of meat, like maybe the Brazilian cuisine, the Korean cuisine, it's like I can eat a limited amount of dishes. But I don't really like Thai cuisine. It's not my favorite. I know a lot of people love Thai. thai. What's my favorite drink? Your favorite drink is water. So boring. <laughs> it's not boring at all. There's no drink you like other than water. Probably coffee. coffee. I know for you, it's coffee, number one. And if I had to pick soda, maybe it would be Mountain Dew. Ooh. And then Coke. Yeah, Coke, Mountain Dew, I like both of them. I like that more than coffee, to be honest. Really? I thought coffee was your favorite. 
I just like Coke so much. It's like so good with meals. Like it's pizza terrible and because if you're thirsty, you don't want to drink Coke. Coke is like sweet. Anyways, which sport am I good at? You're not good at any sports. But Think better. I already know what you're thinking of, like working on lifting weights, I guess, and also maybe running. Is that what you're referring to? No. Um, foosball? Yeah. That's not really a sport, is it? And? Ping pong. Yeah. That's a sport. That is. Underrated ping pong player right here. And foosball. Maybe they don't know, but I'm really good at it. Like, really. They underestimate me so much when they see me and I'm like, can I play with you guys? Usually people say like, yeah, but you shouldn't like make sports. You can't do spinnies. Yeah, and I'm like, duh. Was I an obsessive bride? No, no more than normal. I would say like a normal amount. I'd say normal. If anything, a little bit less. Yeah, than normal. I'd say personally and and everybody. They, they said that I was less obsessive than most brides. I think it's due to the circumstances of of our wedding. Like yeah. we kind of made it all happen pretty quickly and there wasn't like this long waiting period to build up our like excitement it kind of like happened all pretty quickly so we went to japan like right before and then we came right back and got married <laughs> right then after so. like a week so. oh that's crazy what's my nickname your most common nickname is probably sosi you don't call me sosi though son just animal names yeah, if we want to be honest, you call me Babe. like crazy shrimp. I don't say, hey, crazy shrimp. Yes, I you say, do. I like, hey, my little squirrel. Yeah, little squirrel. Mainly little, not crazy. It depends. I'm mainly animal. So am I. <laughs> this is another thing, like the early vlogger followers, they know all this stuff. We've gone through phases of different animals. You're mainly a beaver. Yeah, <laughs> you could say that, I guess. Now we're digging the octopus. <laughs> Next, do I snore while sleeping? No, you do not. Not at all. Sonia's a very silent sleeper. Sometimes I've seen Sonia during the middle of the night rubbing her finger <laughs> up and down her arm. But I'm sleeping! So when I'm sleeping, I stretch out my arm and I start doing this. And people think I'm awake, but I'm actually sleeping. It's pretty interesting. It's crazy, huh? You told me the first time you started talking to me. I was like, hey, you're awake. And it's like, <laughs> I was like, all right. Who is the loudest? Me. Probably me. Question. I think I have a stronger voice. I'd say if there's like complete silence, he's not loud. But if the TV is on or there's some any any background noise, he starts speaking like this because he thinks that nobody can hear him. That's because that's my experience. Like yesterday when you and your dad were talking on the TV, it was on like level 100. I was like, <laughs> how the F are they communicating right now? Like all I heard was like, Buongiorno signori signori, benvenuti sul telegiornale, stasera parliamo del... And your dad's just like... I'm like, what? Who remembers all occasions? <laughs> Me. I have to tell someone when it's anyone's birthday, when it's anyone's anniversary, when it's anyone's blah 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 holiday, la 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 la. She does a lot of the organization for stuff though, but I tell her when things are happening. Like if you don't tell me, you might be my best friend, I'll just forget when your birthday is. I don't know, I can't do But ever it. since someone's been with me, she hasn't forgotten anyone's birthday. Thanks to me. Don't get offended, I love you, I just can't remember these things. Second to last, who was my first celebrity crush? Eminem. Yes. It's obvious. The one and only Eminem. When he was young. Of course, now it's a little weird. Who is better at making friends? Probably you. I think your personality is more outgoing towards strangers. But then once you know them, you're a little bit quieter. And I'm the mm -hmm. opposite. Like, towards strangers, I'm pretty quiet. But once I know someone, then I'm like more outgoing. You're right. I guess it's because once you get to know me better, I feel like I don't have to entertain you. I feel like I can be myself and Boring I like and to... dry and nothing. Thank you. I'm a good listener. That's debatable. No, I do think you're a good listener, but I don't know if you prefer to listen because you love telling me stuff. <laughs> because you don't talk. That's the thing here. Sometimes we have arguments because it's like, but you never ask me about anything I like. I can never talk about the things I like while I always talk about the things I like. But the difference here is that he doesn't ask me questions. I just start talking and I share. He doesn't share anything if I don't ask a specific question. If you want to say something, just say it. I don't really feel the need to go out of my way to tell people random information that I doubt they care about. 
Then right. you can't complain if I tell I don't you more complain things about, about yeah. that. When have I ever complained? Like when you're like, well, sometimes I like to talk about things that I care about. Well, do it. When I tell you about, but you don't care. <gasps> At least I act like I care. This is you. Like no. <laughs> watch this chess video with me. This is you. Bam! I hate chess. Like the things that I truly like. This has like. never, never happened. Anyways. This was my husband tag. That was a nice long video. Good luck subtitling and all that. Thank you, baby boy, for being here. Thank you for the questions. See you next time. Subscribe to my channel and to my Instagram. Peace out, everyone. Sky to Okay. Bye.